Well, how you doing everyone? Josh the Collector Guy. Hope you all had an awesome week this week, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you're able to get out sometime during the week, on the weekend or whatever, have a little bit of a hunt. Hope you found some awesome things. Hope you had an awesome week, everyone. Well, went to a big, massive swap meet over the weekend, ladies and gentlemen. Went with Dad. It was an absolutely huge as swap meet. I don't even think we got to walk around even 100% of it. It was that big. Found lots of very awesome vintage stuff here, ranging from Hot Wheels Matchbox. There's a Husky floating around, even some old Marjorette stuff. I'll get to most of it just in a second, but first up I'll start off with some flea market finds here. The old Tamikas here. Found uh, all three of them. Got, a, I reckon, a not too bad price for them. Old little Izuzu here, road maintenance truck. That one's very cool. Had to get that. I love my Izuzus. Little cherry picker version as well. That one's very cool. Really cool. Has really nice features on the Tamikas as well. And a very tough looking military vehicle here with opening doors. I didn't know it had opening doors when I bought it. But that's very cool indeed. As I said, the Tamikas seem to have very cool little features on them. So they were great finds at the flea market. Didn't go to all my flea markets this week everyone. But I was just glad to at least find something. Now... There's, uh, it was an absolutely awesome swap meet this one, uh, probably the best swap meet I've ever been to, probably some of the best finds I've ever found as well in my opinion. Start off with the old bubble gunner just here, got this one off my mad mate, glad to have her carded now, I have a loose one and also a plum colour one with a bit of the supercharger missing, loose as well but it's just absolutely awesome to find one carded. Got it off my mad mate as well. Got a lot of good deals off him as well at the swap meet. He loves his swap meets as well. I love the card art. The old stuff just seems to have some of the best card art around. Matchbox, whatever. It's just cool as. That's just my opinion though. Got an old blue carded hot bird here with the ultra hot wheels. Absolutely cool variation on this one. As you probably know, I've got a loose one just up here. So it's absolutely awesome to find one carded. Very cool. I absolutely love my blue cards. Lots of loose ones here. Probably won't go through every single one. Very cool little Renault here. I think it's a Renault. Anyway, it's very cool. I love these little cars. They're so cool. I don't know why I love them so much, but oh, they're just very cool. They're very nice looking cars, might I say. I know they're probably not like your fire-breathing Chevys, Dodgers or Fords, but they're just very cool in my opinion. Just something you don't see every day. Pretty nice Peterbilt here, cement mixer. Got a good de deal on this one, excuse me. Got a few good cars off this one seller. He had heaps of old rare stuff. But I got probably the most of his Hot Wheels off him anyway. So that was a very cool find. This one was probably one of the bargains of the day. This very tough looking Matchbox military vehicle. What I find with a lot of these... The, this model in particular, either the gun, as you can see, is broken, or the heads of the soldiers, or the soldiers are not there, whereas this one's got both, but I just couldn't pass on the price. I've been after a better condition one of this one for so long, but I just had to get it. I just couldn't leave it there. It was, it was very good price. It's an absolutely awesome looking military vehicle. As I said, there is a Husky, and it's this Batmobile here. Dad had to get this one. He loves his Batmobiles. He loves Batman stuff. Surprisingly, Batman and Robin aren't missing, even though they seem pretty plastered in there, ready to fight the next crime. But the windshield looks like it's gone. I don't know how that would have happened. You often wonder what's happened to it. And also, it's got a trailer hitch as well. I don't know what it would have towed. Probably the bat boat or something very important, or even a trailer when they were moving house so very cool the huskies are quite good little detailed models very cool indeed that was a good find dad had for the day pretty cool little crack up here too not too bad condition even though the front mechanism mechanism doesn't work anymore that was a pretty good price i got that for i don't know why people write prices on the roof for and it wasn't 15 dollars but believe me I won't even start what the seller had anyway. He just had beaten up cars for way too much. But surprisingly haggled him down a lot for that one. So that was a good find. Very awesome Lickety 6. Now, in my opinion, these are quite rare, these cars. I do not see them every day. And this is something you don't see every day either. This was a, with the lot with the Peterbilt and a couple other cars. Got an absolute great deal on this. Not 
the book value of it's around the twenty dollar mark I believe so and I didn't even pay hardly it nowhere near that I got it for a great deal I know she is a bit beaten up but still I'm just so glad to have this car in the collection now the old six wheel Tyrells quite dominant race cars until they put an end to that and put an end to that and banned them from the racing I'm not sure if that's completely true or not but I think that's what I've heard very cool American hauler she's a bit beaten up but I just have to, I love it I absolutely love it that was probably one of the coolest finds the, for the day I love discovering undiscovered hot wheel treasure match matchbox treasure or whatever it was an absolutely cool find like finds like that are so cool it's like some people say the thrill of the hunt it's so cool some little micro machines here grew up with some of these as a kid most of them have opening features like doors and that which is very cool in my opinion this one's quite cool indeed with the big fats on the back and the big tire I mean the big engine sorry and the bull bar that one's very cool oh Marjorette military vehicle here that one's very cool that's very tough as as well I love my military stuff old seven spoke olds 442 glad to have a loose one now I couldn't pass on this Monte Carlo I love my Monte Carlos I think I've at least got three of these loose now so and one carded so I just love it I don't know why it's one of my most favorite cars I just had to get it and I'm not sure what these ones are called they might be power commands I'm not really sure I probably got that wrong but I think that this is from the late 80s early 90s very cool that was a steal for the day as well just some carded stuff here old Chevy van I'm not sure if the tampos are supposed to be whoop, supposed to be there on that one I know it's got like blue and red stripes on it but that was a cool find glad to have it carded as well some other assorted blue cards here Buick Wildcat had to get that old sparkly Firebird there, got that off my man mate. Got some good deals on these blue cards as well. The old Camaro Road Race with the saw blades there, love that one. Got the Kenworth T600 card variation of this one. In my previous vid I had the Ford LTL card variation, so it's awesome to have both now. Very cool truck, that was a fine dad made for the day. Old 56 Chevy Flash Cider, that was a cool find. By the way, man, very cool blue carded Solier here. Very nice indeed. Quite a pricey variation too, according to the Tom Marts price guide book. So that was a very cool find. I absolutely love the look of this car though. I love the blue colour. I love the tampos. I even love the wheels. It's just such a cool looking car. The old Peugeot, very cool little car. Very unusual. And all four wheel variations of the Chev truck here, the old Chevy 1500. Grew up with this car as a kid, absolutely, or truck as a kid, absolutely love that. Very cool. Probably one of the most rarest, in my opinion, crack ups. Very cool indeed. The old, I think that might be a Ford or a Kenworth truck. Very cool indeed. Awesome to have us still on the card, as I always say. Love the card art. And the usually what would be almost missing. All the time on a loose version would be the black, I mean the white, black, white plastic bit there. Gee, stumbling my words. Very cool though. Awesome to get that off my man, mate. Got another Marjorette here. Had this truck, and I still believe I have this truck still. Well, I think I do anyway. Well, I know I do anyway. In one of my boxes under my bed. Grew up with Mar Marjorette. Loved it as a kid. Got this for an absolute steal as well, and it's still carded. So very cool. I do like my Marjorettes. Probably not as much as my Hot Wheels and Matchbox, but they're very good, decent models. I just couldn't go past this Matchbox 2-pack with the military stuff. Oh, I just love that card out. That is so cool. Reminds me of the Hot Wheels Action Command vehicles. Just so cool. You got the Octane truck there and the Radar truck. Very Or oh, military tank, excuse me. Very cool. That was an awesome find for the day, that. Had to haggle a bit with the seller, even though they weren't really wanting to go down on the price but got an absolutely good deal on it in my opinion anyway love the card art just the old card art just stands out in my opinion got the old superchargers mud racers here the old corvette that's just tough as that corvette with the big blower on it reminds me of the good old 80s and sort of late 90s monster trucks that one's cool I'm, looks like an el camino maybe in my opinion or a Holden here in Australia, but that's very cool. Very tough as as well. Great finds they were as well. 
some, whoop, whoop, him over for some reason. Old uh, red line part of the heavyweights truck. Probably will track down a trailer someday, but that was a cool find as well. Got an old red baron off my man, mate. Very cool indeed. The, I discovered just recently that my other red baron had been drilled apart and put back together, so I had to get a mint, mint well, better conditioned one anyway, because I don't know how people can tear apart some old red lines sometimes, but anyway, that's everyone, everyone to their own. Very cool find off my man, mate. Love Tom Daniels' designs. Love the Red Baron. Very cool little car. Small real riders here. The old, I'm not sure what this car's called. Formula Fever. That old White Hub's very nice looking car. Looks like an indie car. Whatever. Very cool find off my man, mate. Probably one of the finds of the day was this old Beach Patrol Chevy S10. So cool. It's missing its surfboards, I believe, in the back. But this has been on, one of, on my most wanted list for a while. I always admire this truck. I love this truck. It's probably one of my favourite castings of Hot Wheels of all time. Well, one of my favourites anyway. Very cool little, tough little truck. So, as I said, probably one of the greatest finds for the day. As was this Auto Palace Big Rig Rigs Monster Truck. That is just such a cool set, that. Quite rare too, in my opinion. I know when I see these on eBay, they're 100 plus, if not more. They're just so rare. There's also a big version, Bigfoot version floating around it's um got the bigfoot monster truck on the back i do have the bigfoot monster truck somewhere in one of my boxes i had that as a kid but um don't have the truck but it's just absolutely awesome to have this one boxed up and even loose would be cool as as well the old ford ltl there quite cool little promotional piece for auto palace i don't know what that is it's well, it looks like an automotive superstore in america i could only assume so that's very cool got that off my mad mate i don't know where he gets some of his cars from but it was an absolutely another awesome find for the day i think every find was awesome in my opinion well that is it everyone that was my ramble on of the swap meet this weekend i hope you enjoyed everyone i hope i didn't bore you too much but anyway i thank you very much for watching everyone i thank you the subscribers passers by Thank you for commenting, subscribing, liking, whatever you do. I really appreciate it. Appreciate you all tuning in each and every week. Listen to me have a rant about my stuff. I really do appreciate it. But that's it, everyone. I hope you enjoyed. Have a good week, everyone. And remember, happy hunting. Keep the hobby strong. See you later, everyone. Have an awesome week.